forgive and forget in life see we always going to run through circumstances and situations where we don't want to kind of like you know put ourselves into that hemisphere of forgiving and forgetting <clears throat> but it's always highly important it's always take things into matters and take things into consideration people don't know what they do people don't know what they correspond of course people don't know what they carry that goes to show the yeah, everybody don't belong on a road but do you really think people going to basically follow that rule or follow that phrase? No. Everybody's going to have to get on the road someday in some way. So it's all about how you deal with the situation. So now, situations can be worse. Situations can be chaotic. Now, when it comes to self-defense, by any means necessary, forgive and forget don't mean anything in that process. But if it's something like very minor, very petty, then, of course, you could put yourself into a circumstance situation of, you know, not allowing it to pretty much highly affect you. Because when you allow something to affect you to the extremes, it puts you into a certain location and a certain space. Which means you're on the wrong block, and you're on the wrong place, wrong time, wrong block, wrong street, wrong area, and wrong location. Which means this is an area and a territory of detriment, deter um, transformation, kill, or be destroyed. So... The moment you're in that area and location, this is either you putting yourself into that area where you have to pretty much take matters into your own hand, or someone else is going to basically come into grips and takes matters in their own hands in that situation. Because forgiving and forgetting, it's always good to pretty much let these things go. It's, every, everybody got their own healing process, but it's highly important to pretty much heal from things that no longer have your interest or partake in within your life or that's trying to help you build. Because if it's not building, if it's not growing you, then it's destroying you and of course it's putting you into detriment so if you're in detriment then that means you're detriment in your mentality and if your mentality is detriment then of course you ain't gonna have the right tools you ain't gonna have the right fluids to pretty much add the right areas and locations to pretty much fuel up your fire your flame and of course your air which is your mind to create more ideas you're gonna have the right shit in your system so if you got the wrong things in your system this means your system is going to basically break down. Your immune system is going to basically be going weakened because you're worrying about wrong things and wrong conclusions. You already have everything inside of you. But the moment you pretty much get outweighed by what's outside of you, then that means everything inside of you is not really a foundation that you can walk on and stand on like steps. Everything is no bricks in there, which means everything that you're walking on is just grass, which means it can be cut easily. It can, of course, be shredded easily. And when these things is gone, you're going to put yourself into a circumstance, situation, and location of not wanting to be in a certain area and location. So it's always highly important to pretty much build a strong internal aspect of yourself and also take heed into forgiving and forgetting things. Because when you let go of certain things, you take the weight and, of course, the backpack store or the explorer off your weight so you won't get skunked like stink.